In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve a few basic future value and present value problems. The present value of money represents the value of money today, right now, in the present, whereas the future value represents the value of that money in the future. So let's start with the first part of this problem. What is the future value of $10,000 20 years from now, given an annual interest rate of 6%. So right now, in the present, we have $10,000. So that's the present value. How much will this amount of money be worth 20 years from now at an interest rate of 6%? So we're looking for the future value. The formula that we could use to calculate the future value from the present value is this formula. FV is equal to PV times 1 plus R raised to the N. So the present value is 10,000. The interest rate is 6% or 0 0.06. N is the number of time periods in this case since the interest is credited on an annual basis and it's going to be the number of years which is 20 years. So it's going to be 10,000 times 1.06 raised to the 20th power. Now let me go ahead and plug this in. So the future value of $10,000 20 years from now, I'm going to write it here, is it's worth $32,000. $71.35. And so this really helps to illustrate the time value of money. $10,000 today is a, it's worth a lot more than $10,000 in the future. For instance, you can buy more of a dollar now than what you could buy 20 years you know, later. For example, now you can buy a small bag of chips for about a dollar. 20 years ago, you can buy a bag of chips for 25 cents. So 20 years in the past, $1 can buy you four bags of chips. In the present, a dollar can buy you one bag of chips. So, so the purchasing power of money goes down as time moves forward. You can buy a lot more stuff with a dollar today than what you will be able to buy with a dollar in the future. So now let's move on to the second part of the problem. What is the present value of $100,000 10 years from now given the same annual interest rate of 6%? So in the second part of the problem, we're given the future value which is $100,000, and we want to calculate how much that is worth 10 years in the past, or rather, in the present, so to speak. And the interest rate is the same. So the formula that we need to use, we need to rearrange it a little. The present value is equal to the future value divided by 1 plus r raised to the n. So the future value is 100,000. R is still 0 0.06, so 1 plus 0 0.06, that's 1.06. And N is 10. So 100,000 divided by 1.06 raised to the 10th power gives us a present value of $55,839.48. So let's say that inflation is 6%. The value of all goods increases by an average of 6%. $55,839.48 has the same purchasing power as $100,000 10 years later. So as you can see, this really illustrates the time value of money. And that is the same amount of money is worth more now than it will be worth in the future. So if you have a choice of selecting $1,000 now versus $1,000 10 years from now, 
the thousand dollars in the present has more purchasing power than the thousand dollars in the future so the basic idea behind the time value of money is that money is worth more now than it is in the future